Hi everyone and welcome to One Sixth Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys Axe Woes. But before we do that, take a quick look at this. So this is the One Sixth Figure Focus YouTube channel. It's a brand new channel, only started about a week ago. So if you're a One Sixth Scale collector and you're into this type of content, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, click on the bell notification icon and set it to all. That way every time I upload a new video, you can check it out. Thank you. So this is the Hot Toys Axe Wolves six scale figure based in the likeness of the character Axe Wolves from the TV show The Mandalorian and based in the likeness of the actor I have absolutely no idea who he is. Anyway, this is a pre-order product, it's $230 and it doesn't come with a head sculpt which has been the subject to a bit of debate. It's due to ship next year, quarter two, sometime between April 2023 and June 2023. Let's take a look at some of the photos because even though I don't know this guy's name, it's a pretty cool design. So what does he come with? Does not come with a head sculpt. A bit of people were kind of saying, look, um, there are three of these characters who are always together, Bo-Katan and uh, Koska Reeves. The Koska Reeves head sculpt is top class. The Bo-Katan needs work. I've done pre-order videos on both of them. Maybe you'll feel free to check it out. I wasn't going to go do a pre-order uh, preview on this, but look, I'm going to keep it nice and short. Anyway, so even though I don't know this guy, his his um, outfit looks great. So we have, um, yeah, he's got his blaster here. You've got his, you know, jetpack, the kind of flame thrusters, the detailed armor and outfit. you got that cool cobalt blue um, helmet. You've got a stand, which if I was to get it, you know what I'm going to say, I would never use flight pole well then again the three of these is the flight pole probably would actually use them if i did get the three of them together and kind of pose them kind of in flight dynamic kind of action like that definitely won't use this cardboard backdrop but you know if you do let me know in the comment section down below um or even like you know post me on, on instagram and show me like how do you use these things here because i'm kind of yet to see a post like that or yet to see a display where people integrate these and it looks really well um and then swap out hands so flick through some of these photos Look, all of these Mandalorian designs, they tend to look very well, whether it's like the OG Boba Fett or the OG Mandalorian or the Beskar Mandalorian or the Death Watch or anything like that. They tend to look really, really cool. They're like um, they're like Stormtroopers. You tweak a helmet here, a shade here and there, give them a different blaster, a bit of weathering. They just look really well and they sell very well. So I really like that you have the contrast between the blue and then you have kind of darker armor unlike i'm pretty sure Costco reeves and um bo -Katan, it's more of a blue color throughout so i think that's a bit different that's kind of cool um eagle-eyed star wars fans will kind of look at this and see oh that's luke's belt from return of the jedi very very similar to it if i'm not mistaken again if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section down below so you got the knee guards the same kind of color as the gauntlets and the helmet he doesn't come with much but this is a solid figure this does look cool um yeah look it's Again, if you're a Clone Wars fan and you kind of want to kind of build those kind of Death Watch style Mandalorians, especially if you're getting one of the other two, if you're getting like Costco Reeves or especially if you're getting, uh, you know, Bo-Katan, if you're getting the other two, like I think the display would be the three of these together uh, in with using the flight stands with the blasters out in kind of dynamic pose. You have the jetpacks and the flame trusses come out. I just know that like, say the likes of um, Jedi Patrol is going to, he, he's going to like, when when the three of these arrive he's going to pose these up and like his video i'd imagine is going to be excellent i, I do look forward to looking uh, what he's going to do with them even this here this looks cool just uh these photographers they know what they're doing they're kind of like kind of showing you well if you got the freedom you could you could do this they do look very well together so personally i'm not getting any of them again uh i like to curate a collection i'm not uh, a completionist i tend to just really do home in on the things i feel strongly about Apart from troopers, I am a trooper collector for my sins. But the three of these figures looks good, and Axe Wolves is no difference. Head sculpt, they're not. It's still a really, really cool figure. I think a lot of people are going to be very happy with that. That's pretty much the end of this video. So my thoughts are, it looks very, very good. It's a pass for me, but still looks very, very good. And they look great together. I'm looking forward to seeing what other people do. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> And uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you like this or not. If you let me know if you like the other two or not. Um, massive thank you to all the subscribers out there. See you in the next one.